No, you do not need antibiotics. So let's take this story. Maybe you're familiar with it. You get up one morning, you're coughing, you're sneezing, you're not feeling bad. Maybe you have a fever, maybe you don't. You don't know because you don't have a thermometer. And you say to yourself, I don't have time for this. I'm going to my doctor. I'm going to get some antibiotics. So you jump in your car, you head down to your doctor, you have your prescription of choice that you've just been prescribed by Dr. Google. You go in, you see your doctor. He says, all right, yeah, you're probably sick, but you don't need antibiotics. But you're mad. You say, you know what? I need antibiotics and I need this specific antibiotic because, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I had this similar situation. I took my brain out antibiotics and then I got better. Your doctor's like, no, you don't need it. You argue back and forth. He finally prescribes you some antibiotics. You leave out feeling happy and you say that this doctor is very helpful. But to tell you the truth, he's not helping you. He's hurting you. And I'm going to tell you why. But first, let's take a look at what antibiotics are. So antibiotics are medicines that are created to disrupt bacteria, fungus, and some parasites. What they usually do is keep bacteria from reproducing or just outright kill them. And once they do this, your body's defenses take over from there. So antibiotics are one of the best breakthroughs in modern medicine, and it's right up there with washing your hands before surgery. And you believe that doctors didn't wash their hands before surgery. That's crazy, I know, huh? So, how do antibiotics work and why don't they work on viruses? Well, take a look at this. Bacteria are kind of like homeowners, meaning that they're kind of responsible, you know? Uh, homeowners have a mortgage, they have car notes, they have yard duty, yard, yard duty, yard cutting, things that they have to do. You know, they usually get up and go to work, come home tired, watch Netflix, go to sleep, right? Viruses are kind of like your loser cousin that comes over, lays on your couch, plays Call of Duty all night. He's up, stopping up your toilet, eating up all your cereal and drinking up all your milk. So which one of these people are easier to, to disrupt? The homeowner. So bacteria are cells, and it's easier for antibodies to disrupt them, while viruses use the resources of cells to be able to reproduce and move on to other cells. So why is it bad for me to be able to get antibiotics for my virus infection? Because you're setting yourself up for what is called antibiotic resistance. This means that by exposing your body to antibodies when you don't need them, your body builds up resistance to them. And so when you may need antibiotics for a difficult infection, they may not work. So how do I know when I need antibiotics or how do I know when I don't? Number one is it's very difficult for you as a layperson to know whether you have a bacterial infection versus a viral infection. Green mucus from your nose and you know things like fever, those things are not reliable indicators. Usually you have to rely on the experience of your doctor because we have lots of experience in telling whether a bacterial infection or a virus infection is, is take up, you know, set up in your body. The second thing is we have testing to be able to tell us what these uh, things are. So if you're prescribed antibiotics and you're worried about antibody resistance, you're worried about not the antibiotics not being effective, you should do a couple of things as well. Number one, you should take your antibodies as prescribed. So if you prescribe for five days, take them five days. Don't save them to give to your cousin or to sell on the streets, um, you know, for black market radio uh, equipment. The next thing you should do is not share your antibiotics with others. That means if you're prescribed antibiotics, don't give them to your cousin. Again, this is not like sharing your shirt or loaning your shirt to your sister so she can wear it on a date. People are individuals and some might be allergic to these antibiotics or they may set them up for antibody resistance and we don't want that to happen. So I guess that's about it. Like the video if you like a kid. I hope this helped you understand a little bit more about antibiotics and why we in the medical profession use antibiotics. And remember, Every case is individual. This video is informational only. And 
if you have a problem, you should consult with your regular physician. This is Dr. Damien. Talk to you later.